everyone and welcome back <laughs> well welcoming me back it's been a minute oh my god i had the high smile whitening strips in hold up look at those pearly whites and just like that in just 30 minutes you have pearly glorious sparkling white teeth thank you high smile Let's get into the video. So, I wanted to do like a little life update video, but with a twist, I will be cutting my own hair today. That's fun. Look at how much hair. See, okay, so the last time I had it cut professionally was August. So it's almost been a year and I haven't cut it myself. That was pretty much the last time it has been cut. And that was also when I did balayage. So the lady put these blonde bits, it started up here. <laughs> it started, I'm just trying to see where, get my hairbrush. Oh, do you want to see the weirdest comb you've ever seen? It looks like it's something out of the Flintstones. Like what is this? Oh my gosh. I wanted a nice, wide tooth comb and apparently it's also like a little head massager thingy middle yeah i just hate how when you have one of these thinner you know one of these kind of brushes with more bristles it just pulls out more of your hair so if i got a lot of tangles i'll start with this guy brush through it and then it's just easier to go in with this one the wet brush and it just makes my life easier because literally my hair is a chore. It's like not even fun anymore. It's just turned into this chore. So yeah, I'm gonna cut my own hair today. I haven't gotten it dyed since August as well. So yeah, these, this blonde bit started up here. It's been a minute. So I'm gonna do long layers today. Why am I cutting my own hair? It's a great question. Because I don't feel like spending money. <laughs> um. Yeah, so I'm just like, I've been cutting, I've cut my own hair before. It's been okay. I don't know. I think it just like takes up more time and more effort. So I don't know. It's not like that hard to do. I've done it before. I trust myself to cut it. It's fairly easy. You'd be surprised. There's so many YouTube tutorials that you can just look up for this and it's very easy to follow. So you just go step by step and you can't mess up, right? <laughs> you can't mess up. And also, life update. Anyway, I'm gonna do this. I need another. You can just see the amount of hair. And I just brushed it, so. Mm -hmm. <sighs> it's really a workout, like your arms get sore from like just going at it. So we tie up this top part. Oh. Okay, now that we have our top bit, I'm also like kind of doing a tutorial here. <laughs> yeah, split it in two. And then you're gonna take these parts in two, that one to the back. So once you have your four sections, just grab like a smaller comb. Yeah. This is already great. Like this is gonna go so well. Just wanna keep re-wetting it so it's easier to cut. Put in your leave-in conditioner. It also makes it easier to cut your hair. So the tutorial's done. <laughs> Also because you just showered and you want to put it in. All the dead ends I'm working with here. And you're gonna cut straight across. And then you're gonna point cut. Point cut after you cut straight. Watch my hairdresser watch this video and she's gonna be like, ah, no, don't do that. Okay, and then you're gonna take the other piece from the back. So anyway, I'll try to explain what I'm doing while I give my life update. I've been a little like not as online as I usually am because I'm just like leaning my focus towards career stuff, just studies, putting all my main focus on that rather than you know all this other you're like yeah social media is fun but it's also it takes some time to like edit videos and all this other stuff so I'm only gonna be posting videos, whatnot. Maybe like I'll be more so on TikTok posting because it's the bigger platform. And I can actually like, you can, you know, 
profit off that when you have a bigger following on something. So I don't like want to say what I'm doing with career wise. I'm kind of doing a few things. Like it's not like I am studying for some things and then I'm like, oh, I also want to do this. I don't know. I'm going to see where it goes. So I don't like talking about it. And then there's also some other career things I wanted to do. I wanted to stay also in like dental stuff because I know I have my mom to, you know, she's done very well for herself. I can look up to her on what to do and pursue further with that. And just, there's so many things. I have connections in the dental industry. So I'm like, I don't want to just leave it completely. So I don't know. I'm kind of the person who just can't stick to one thing. I'm just very driven in that sense. I want to do more than just one thing. I get bored easily and I know I'm capable of doing more than just one thing. So that's that, <laughs> that's that. And just combining the two pieces in one, taking it forward again. And then you can just see where I just cut there and then the pieces I didn't even cut yet. You're just gonna straight cut again. And then you want cut. Yeah, so you can already see, I think, <laughs> you can already see it's kind of like taking an angle there. So yeah, I think I might cut a bit more though. Oh my God, I might be going crazy here. Also, another thing, you might have seen that the last video I posted about, oh my God, story time, I made my professor cry. That's, I just can't, apparently, okay. I just can't have it up right now because there's certain things that I said in it that are just, like, I have to be very careful with what I say. It's so annoying. I mean, my mom was just telling me about it. I didn't know just the full extent of just what she is having to deal with, with, you know, family stuff, like just what's going on right now with, you know, court things. I can't really talk about it. I'm just gonna give a brief on it because I'm just not even gonna go there. <laughs> it's messy. It's just, you have to be just very careful. Like you literally can't talk about anything. So it is annoying. I kind of have to be silent for a while, but you know, what better time than now? <laughs> yeah, you just have to be very careful about what you say because apparently people can take anything and like, yeah, it's just very sensitive stuff and I just need to be careful. So some things I said in it, even though it was minimal and very subdued, <laughs> I can't, it's just best not to bring any of that stuff up at all for this time being because some things are, court things have been going on in my family since like, 2017 since right when my grandma passed away and now my papa passed away so you can just put two and two together it's you know families have to deal with their you know their assets all this other stuff when someone dies you can yeah you can think of like oh once your parents die you kind of need to they have a will, all this stuff. You just have to kind of sort everything out. What am I doing? Oh, I'm supposed to take a piece from this side. So yeah, when someone passes, you're basically dealing with all their assets, all this other stuff, a lot of organizing, but it gets done, like sometimes it gets done in front of the court and whatnot. And like, you know, when families, when you have certain, like a big family, especially it can be messy. Can't, might not be if you have like, you know, loving family members, but sometimes when family members don't really like each other, it can be messy. So that's what's happening. Things are all being dealt with right now. So I can't talk about certain things, which I understand. My mom's totally fine with the video. It just can't like, she's like, oh, you can just, you know, put it up later. It's just like, especially it's like right now should not be talking about anything. <laughs> so that's that. I'll have the video out like sometime in the future. It's a good video. I just can't have it up right now based on that. So that's why that's not up. If you're wondering why 
I suddenly took it down, that's why. <laughs> You're supposed to see the piece from the other side that you cut, and it kind of gives you a guide to how much you cut off on this side. And also for other future videos, I love making YouTube videos, so if I do get the time, if I'm traveling anywhere or whatnot, of course I'm gonna film it. Oh. And then I'll make a video out of it once I get the time, but I'm not gonna rush myself, obviously. All right. <laughs> what else is going on in my life? I don't know, I've just been busy working. I work a lot because I'm just doing as much kind of any schooling that I really can at the moment, I guess, like while I am working because I'm the only one supporting myself so I can't like I'm I, like I need to be working so I explained to anyone who's like why are you in school or like what are you doing like I'm doing everything I can while being like a full-time worker for the time being until otherwise yeah that's gonna be the thing I'll be doing work like any studies whatever after work night things like night courses I don't know they make it possible for people who have to have a full-time job all that stuff so that's just the current thing. I'm sure my mom wants to help me with whatever, you know, school's expensive. But of course, like at this moment, she can't because money's tight. <laughs> if you know, lawyers aren't cheap. So I totally get that. <laughs> anyway, that's that. What else is happening? I'm going to Toronto soon. I'm very excited for that. It's gonna be my first time. See? Same link, there you go. I feel like it looks worse on the camera than it does in real time. You can see it taking shape. You can see it. Let me just make sure I got everything. I've been trying to go on more runs. I don't really, like I'd prefer to use my bike, but I need to fix it. And I haven't had the time to get around to doing that yet. So I've just been like choosing to run when it's nice. So I'll go out there, go on a good little run, a nice scenic workout. I don't know, still use the gym, lifting weights whenever I can. Yeah, of course it's good for you, but it's just, it's such a relief when you're, say if you, yeah, you are reading, studying, whatever, and you're just sitting there the whole time for hours. And all you wanna do is just get off your booty and get moving, get your body moving. And it helps so much with your mental health. Now, you can see just re my hair everywhere. I mean, what have you guys been up to? Everyone's kind of doing something. Everyone's just trying to figure life out and figure out what they enjoy, what they love in life. Nobody knows what they're doing. Nobody. <laughs> she takes the top half. She takes everything from here. You're gonna take it down and you're gonna separate. You guys can probably see that? Yeah. Just going straight. So you're gonna take one inch from the middle part. Okay, take that piece away. Again, to the other side. <laughs> There's not an exact way that I'm doing. I'm just kind of going with the flow here. Follow this tutorial at your own risk. And then I'm gonna take these pieces, put it in the back. Oh, look at that. I mean, it looks legit to me. That's the middle. And you're just gonna take it straight up. Take it down to here and cut. <laughs> and you're just gonna cut. And then straight point cut. I think I missed some very important pieces. Let's cut that. Part it back down the middle again. Where are you? Oh. Part it back down the middle again. I guess people would understand that. Like some things you kind of feel like you want to stick to because if you have a parent in that field, you're just like, you are familiar with everything, like not everything, but you're familiar with the field. You have an idea like it's not completely foreign to you. And now I was just working, geez, how long have I worked in dental clinics for? Since 2018? Like it's been a few years. Up to, you know, three dentists I've worked with. You built some experience from that. So I'm like, oh, I don't want to completely just, you know, drop that just because I think I want to do something else, but why not just do both? 
There's always new things. There's always new things that you can learn. This is with any job. You can always be learning, always be learning in any field you're in. You always have to keep that motto. You can't just like, oh, I learned everything. No, there's always, always things that you could be growing with. And that's the fun out of also me just experimenting with these other fields of work. Cause it's like, I'm learning something even, I have no familiar already, familiar, <laughs> familiarity with. See, learning's fun, learning fun. <laughs> Now this um, method is best if you have thicker hair, hence like all the layers that I'm putting in, all the splitting, it's like very, I mean, you can attempt it, attempt it with thinner hair, it might work, but you'll just have like smaller sections. You split it into two, and we'll skip to stop. You can see the shorter, that's the shorter piece right there. Cut it to where it matches up. And just point cut. Then you take back the other piece that you had. Oh. There you go. I want this part shorter. There you go. Split it into sections. doing my own method this could be so wrong but like look at that that's uneven so when in doubt cut there we go nice perfect okay good next once you do those front pieces i was having too much fun there you're gonna take the back hair she says to put just like the back pieces into it and then we're gonna tie off the rest of it like the I mean I'm just gonna do it my way now so now you have your guide and with the long piece notch, I figured it out and then you're gonna split it into two that works ow ow oh, this is painful I can see the guide it's right there it's all the way up here so I have to cut all of this off Okay, y'all, this is the finished result. I did a pretty good job. Okay. Some more of the back. Before it was way too long, too many dead ends, and it was, it's been almost a year since I cut my hair. So it definitely feels so much better. Fresh cut. Like it literally, I feel like I just got it done at the salon, but I don't know, it was myself. Thank you all for tuning in today. And I'll guess I see you when I see you. Um, whenever I post, not gonna be regularly, but you know, on the occasion. So then I'll see you then. Okay, bye-bye.